Hey guys, welcome to Wiki Tech. It's uh, Vikram Menon here, and uh, this video is in is a type of a continuation to the one that I had made uh, quite a few weeks before, and uh, that was on the CM12. And here I have the CM12.1. As you can see, and the gaps downloaded. So, if you got, uh, if you want to flash this twelve point one on your stock, you'll have to refer uh, to my previous video that I had made. Uh, the process, I mean, uh, all the process would be the same. Instead of the CM twelve file, you have to swap it over with the twelve point one file. So, today I'll be flashing twelve point one. And I am currently running the CM12 round. Let me just show it to you guys. So as you can see, it's the the model number is JTP3100, Cyanogen mod version 12, the unofficial build running 5.0.2, and uh, the CM12.1 will uh, run on Android version 5.1. So without any further ado, let's get right so, into it. So firstly, you'll have to power off your tablet and have both the uh, CM12.1 as well as the GAPS file loaded into your internal memory or SD card. And let just let's wait for this to shut down. So that's it. So now you'll have to hold the vo volume up followed by the power key together. Once you see this logo, let's do it again. So once you see this logo, let go of the power key and keep holding the volume up. This will take you into recovery. And it's uh, important to have the latest version of the uh, CWM recovery. I'll have the links uh, of the CM12, I mean, uh, yeah, CM12.1 followed by GAPS and the CWM recovery in the description below. So, if uh, you are currently running any version of the Cyanogen Mod 12 ROM or uh, I mean, any version of the Cyanogen Mod, you can just uh, wipe the, I mean, wipe data factory reset yes okay followed by wipe cache and get into advance and wipe dalvik cache i hope you guys can see it What did I do? Let's do it again. My Dalvik cache. Yes, my Dalvik cache. Uh, see, I guess it. So, Dalvik cache wiped. Okay, now I can go back and install zip. Now, you got to choose from where do you want to install it. Uh, if I guess I have it here. No, it's not. I guess it is. No, no, no. So I have it in my SD card. Let's get into downloads. No. Why isn't it showing, man? Let's take a look again. Yeah, there I have it. So, there's the GAPS 5.1 and the 
cm12.1 so firstly you got to flash the cm12.1 so let's go ahead do you want to flash it install cm12.1 so let's see how long it takes and it is advisable to have at least uh, 60 to 75 percent of juice uh, left in your tablet while doing all these stuff so as you can see it's patching the system image so that's done install from sd card has been is complete so let's flash gaps now so i'll be having all these uh, i mean the links to uh, the gaps and uh, the cwm as i said before in the description so you, you guys can take a look so that's all let's go back and reboot the system yes fix root so let's see how long it takes to boot up oh that was quite fast i mean if compared to the cm12 just to take a long time to boot up i hope you guys can see the yeah that's the cyanogen mod logo So while the time, I mean, while it boots up, let me tell you that this is an unofficial build. So for any future updates, we'll have to follow the uh, XDA forum. And this ROM is actually developed by a guy named this Android Andy. A special thanks to him for developing it. And he developed seriously awesome ROMs. I'll have the link to that too. You guys can go and check it out. So I guess this being the first boot of 12.1, it's taking a bit too long. And guys, do post your comments and any kind of uh, queries. And what you guys want to see more uh, from my side, uh, do post all your uh, views in the comment section so that I can think upon it and make videos for you guys. So that would be really appreciated from your side. So once this is up, I'll be back with you guys. So it's up guys, it did uh, take quite a few, uh, I mean it did take a long time to boot up and while flashing the same thing with my friend's tablet, uh, actually it uh, got stuck on the boarding screen. So what I did was just, uh, pow I just powered it off and uh, you know turned it back on and then it was all good to go so this is how the setup screen looks like so we'll let's go into it now so let's set the language next so guys let me configure my wi-fi and i'll be back in a sec so guys i'm connected to my wi-fi network this is sim card missing I haven't uh, installed a sim card as of now onto it and this drop down no, no. See, it's just a sec let's wait yeah 
so it says sign into your Google account. So, so I'm guys, back again. I have set up my Google account. It's checking the info. Yeah, it's all done. Set up payments. Remind me later. Next. Get our apps and data. Okay, let's have a look at it. So, I don't need chat on. I, no, I don't need this. So, I mean, you guys can choose what all apps you want to load. I mean, load. So, once it boots up, it'll directly download all these apps onto your tablet. So you don't have to manually, I mean, go into the Play Store and search for all, I mean, what all you need. So, MP3 Converter, all these are important apps. So for user, my search, we talent, heyday, okay. So that's it for, I mean, that's all I need. So, you, I mean, you can even configure a Synergy Mod account. I'll do that later. Okay. Other services, back of my five passwords. Next. So I guess that's it. Let's see. It says start, so we are good to go. Still up, I guess. Yeah, welcome. Okay, so we are good to go, guys. Let me just crank up the brightness. Is it full? No, it isn't. So, as you guys can see, it has automatically started downloading the apps. I hope this focuses. No, I just have to calm down the brightness a bit. So as you guys, guys, guys can see, it has started downloading it, and so it th this thing seems a bit, I mean, a bit more snappy than the twelve point one. So let's get into the settings. about tablet so as you guys can see this is running and it's the uh, the model number is p3100 followed by the Synergy mod version that's 12.1 and android version 5.1 so that that's pretty much it guys for this video i'll i'm i'm again uh, telling you guys that if you have the Synogen, I mean any version of Synogen mod running on your tablet, you can follow the way I did it right now. Or else, I mean if you're running the stock uh, TouchWiz interface, then you got to refer to my, uh, the uh, the other video, the Synogen mod 12 video. Uh, you will have to use the same process. Uh, I mean that's that's been done in the, in that video. And uh, the only thing you got to change is swap up the Synergen mod files. In, in this case, uh, you got to use the CM 12.1 and uh, GAPS 5.1. So I'll have all the links for all those uh, stuff in the descriptions below. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this video. Do like, comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe. It's me, Vikram Manan, signing off. Thank you.